Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 4th of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 2626 along the Vela Molecular Ridge. So what do we see here? Well, this is a number of nebulae that we see. And the main one mentioned in the title is NGC 2626. That is the blue reflection nebula that we see toward the center here. Now a reflection nebula occurs when the light from a hot star is scattered off of dust surrounding it and then seems to come from all directions. And that gives us the blue color because the dust is very good at scattering the short wavelength blue light, but not so good at scattering longer wavelength light like the red. So the blue light gets scattered and comes to us from the dust, whereas the red light pretty much just passes through. And that gives us the distinct blue color of the reflection nebula. Now something similar, although not exactly the same, happens in our own atmosphere, where our atmosphere scatters light, giving the blue color coming from all directions, giving us the blue color of our sky, and making the sun look very orange and red as it gets very low in the horizon at sunrise or sunset. Now that's not the only nebula we see right next to it we see a very dark dust cloud. Now that would be a region of star formation or a dark nebula that we see and within its stars would still be forming and it's quite possible that it could turn into a reflection nebula as stars continue the more process of formation. So in a few hundred thousand years, perhaps the reflection nebula will have changed a little bit and be a little further over to the right in this image. Now the third type of nebula that we see here is the emission nebula. And that's up above and we see that red glow and the red glow is associated with hydrogen gas. When hydrogen gas is energized by ultraviolet light from hot stars, it will give off a distinct red glow as we see here. So all three types of these nebulae are all associated with star formation and we see it in a little bit different ways in each case from the scattering of dust around the reflection nebula to the dark dusty areas in the dark nebula there and to the emission nebula of hydrogen gas scattered around. And it all is all just a transitory phase in the very early stages of star formation. Once the stars begin to form here and we form a small cluster of stars, they will eventually clear out this material so that perhaps a million or two million years from now, all we'll see is a new cluster of stars and most of the gas and dust will have been expelled from this region. So that was our picture of the day for February 4th of 2023. It was titled NGC 2626 along the Vela Molecular Ridge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Moon by Planet Light. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.